This is the Aldi Easy Home Personal Electric Heater. It's 400 watts and has a ceramic element. There's a small fan in the back as you can see there. On off switch, your power LED and a tip over switch which is right on the bottom here. If I can get my hand situated. You can hear that. And uh, here's all the information right here, 400 watt, like I had said, and of course, made in China. Does it work? Yes. Does it work well? Yes, yes. So, just to start, here's the temperature thing. Press that. It currently says it's 76 degrees. We'll kick it on. It does have a very bright LED, which is good. Very quiet. and it's heating up. Now, as any ceramic heater goes, it does take time for it to get up to full temperature. So I'm gonna stop recording for a moment and allow this to run for a minute or so. Okay, that's been running for about a minute or two. And we're reading, well, over 200 in certain areas again. These thermometers are very sensitive, depending on exactly where you put them. I got up to 210. When it gets in the 200s, it drops the decimal point. So, I, we'll figure about a good 200 degrees coming out of it. It's hot. It is really hot coming out. It's not a lot of heat, but it's very concentrated. The fan, in my opinion, is not that powerful. I wish it were a little more, but it certainly does the job. It's a nice small size, you see. My hand can fit right around it. But how does this compare to, say, another heater? Well, I'll do an unfair comparison. First and foremost, yes, the tip-over switch does work, as you can see there. This is the Lasco My Heat personal heater. You can see it's very similar in size. It's almost actually as tall. And as far as the width goes, the Aldi heater is just a little wider due to its trapezoidal design. This heater, like I said, is a Lasco. And this one is 200 watts, which you can see right there. So, very similar, but half the wattage. We'll kick that one on. This does not have a tip over of any kind. You can see it can go upside down and it'll still go. So I don't know how they can actually manufacture heaters without a tip over of any kind. This does use a neon in the switch. And I do have a review of this heater from back in the day. I can put the link in the prescription for you. As far as this one goes, the LED is certainly brighter than the neon. I'm going to let this chooch up to full temperature and we'll see what that reads. Okay, so what do we read on this one here? This is reading about 130-ish degrees, 150, what about 150-ish? If we go back here, definitely in the 200s, even if I back out a bit, definitely over 200 but you got to be careful with these red heaters because they're really hot and just in the making of this video these two got together and made a gray one so you really got to be careful about uh, the red ones but anyway the gray one is also chuchin he's uh, nice and healthy over here also putting out almost 200 degrees there it is even gotten a little hotter since. Anyway, these are great, these little tiny portable heaters. They put out really just enough heat that running a big 1500 watt heater, especially if you can find the, the My Heat, I think this is really the most efficient heat for the money. This is certainly a lot hotter 
and you can definitely tell the difference but uh, this is really the most efficient the wife and I both have a set of these and now we have a set of these just for those cold winter nights anyway thanks so much for watching make sure you hit like make sure you hit subscribe and take care we'll see you next time bye bye